चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स इट इज ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड कॉन्सेप्ट एंड लेट स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर समरी अवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इट इज ऑब्जेक्ट राइट सो ऑब्जेक्ट मीन्स इट इज एंटिटीज राइट इन द रियल वर्ल्ड द ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर द एंटिटीज ऑन ऑफ विच ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इज कंप्राइज राइट ऑब्जेक्ट्स हैव डिवाइडेड इनटू द टू पार्ट्स द फर्स्ट वन इट इज द कॉन्क्रीट फॉर्म the second one it is abstract form so concrete form means the person cars or the coffee cup and the different other examples and abstract form means do not represent the things which can be touch or seen like the date and time all objects have unique identity and are distinguishable from each other object means it is the the characteristics are known as the its properties and of its uh, attributes every person has the characteristics like the name city gender and birth date and different others right to identify each object we use the value of that attributes right and which is called its state and state it is used to distinguish objects from each other right two different persons having the same name they may be distinguished by using the other attributes right like birth date or the city or gender or the different others right and state of the objects can be changed due to its behavior which is called its method right and person takes the birth date gets name change locations after that in the real world object can be described in this terms the identity it is called what it is called state what it is and its behavior that is what it does right and attributes it is described the objects are referred to as a data field right and data attributes are and the behavior method associated with an object are collectively referred as a member or the features right here the one example is given related with the railway right in the railway uh, if you create a railway related application right so train passengers tickets it is the meaningful objects for that but car computer or the watch may be irrelevant objects in the object oriented programming the playing the sufficient uh, role in the analysis design and uh, implementations of the software system that right, the concept start originally in the 1960 right and it had uh, it had become the main programming paradigm used in the creations of the new software in the mid 1980 right and it will supports the c++ java c sharp vb.net asp.net and uh, php and many others way of programming this programming can be divided into two categories the two categories are the first one it is the structure or the procedural programming the focus is on the writing the functions or the properties right procedures and the examples are the library students registration book issues and return a uh, book etc in the object oriented programming language it is focus on the objects which contains the both the data and the functionality together right in the library application software students book and the libraries and the different other objects are also included in the object is fundamental building block in the object oriented programming language right after that object oriented properties a computer language then a computer language it is object oriented if they supports the below four specific properties like abstractions and encapsulations uh, polymorphism and inheritance right in object oriented programming use object as its fundamental building block after that what is class the class it is uh, it can be considered as a blueprint for various objects right it is a template for the multiple objects with the similar features and class is uh, general concept used to embody all the common features right of the particular set of objects then it describes the group of objects with the similar attributes and common behavior right 
objects in the same class it is share common semantic purpose right for example class is a person and the objects are the name city gender birth date and the different other objects after that what is in the class diagram the purpose of the class diagram it is to model the static view of an application class diagrams are only diagrams which can be directly mapped with the object oriented language and uml modeling language it is uml can be used to create models of object oriented software and uml is the visual modeling language it defines and maintained by the object management group that is called omg what is in that class diagram representations it is a class diagram a class it is represented with the icon using a rectangle splits into the three sections the three sections are the name attribute and its behavior right then so name it is in the top sections name of the class attributes it is in the middle section uh, section attributes are the properties of the class and the behavior of it is in the bottom section that right? behavior of the operations or the methods of that class and class diagram visibility feature right in the class diagram visibility represented by using this four symbols right four symbols are the private this use hyphen symbol or dash right protected has is used right after that public the plus sign is used and uh, for package right tilt symbol is used so what is encapsulation and encapsulation is the mechanism of providing the protections to the data and the methods of a program it is called encapsulation right encapsulation provide the data hiding capabilities and right? encapsulation keep the data safe from unintended actions and un unadvertent access by the outside objects right computer programs two core elements that code two core elements are the data and its functions right in the structure programming view of this two core elements it is two separate entity but in the object oriented programming view them as a single entity right okay after that uh, next one it is the data abstraction it is data abstraction it is the process of representing the essential features of the objects without including implementations detail right and abstraction it is the concept that hides the complexity right it says that what is does not how it is done right examples are the abstract data type it is add and all the structure in the c or c++ right it enables the representation represent the data in which the implementations details are hidden what is in the polymorphism it is uh, means the many forms right there are different forms of the single method or the operations right the capability of using the same names with the means the different uh, things in the different context it is called overloading right and polymorphism it is uh, achieved by using the two types of overloading the first one it is function overloading and the second one it is operator overloading aggregate and decomposition when the objects of the one class are comprised of the objects of the other class it is called aggregations or the composition right it is represent has a or a part of the relationships between the different classes means the motherboard it is the part of computer and computer is it's composed of the many parts like the motherboard screen keyboard and the mouse aggregations versus compositions means the aggregations it is represents with non exclusive relationships right motherboard it is the part of computer and it exists as the separate item independent of the computer right if address object may be shared by two or more persons so address is not uh, exclusive to any one person compositions it is represented by using exclusive relationship the examples are the name it is associated with uh, exclusively with the single person inheritance means inheritance it is refer to the is a kind of relationships right 
is an appropriate when it is class it is a kind of relationship with other class examples are the teacher it is kind of a person but all the attributes and the methods of the class persons are applicable to the teacher also the new class it is called the sub class or the child class or the derived class existing class it is called the super class parent class or the base class in this java programming right so this is the end of chapter 6 uh, summary thank you